In this brief follow-up to the webinar on bands, in which I mentioned, if any of you remember watching it, I described how interesting the new research, well not necessarily new, but some of the later research has, that's been done on the benefits, the health benefits overall of good balance. My only criticism of this work was that there was very little clear examples given as how you could improve that other than vaguely talking about standing on one leg and I suggested there was more to it than that. Some of you asked what I meant so in this short video I'm going to try and give you an example of balance exercises that I believe are exceptionally good. In this brief video I'm going to try and demonstrate a series of moves, a series of exercises that you can do to improve your balance over a month and each seven days increase the challenge by doubling the number of repetitions. Let me explain what I mean. So to start off with what we're going to do is just try and remind ourselves about the basics of mm, simple body mechanics in Tai Chi, avoiding what's called double weightedness which is ensuring that as you move and you transition from one move to another there's always more weight in one leg than the other. So in order to work on this what we're going to do is develop this general principle of placing all your weight into one leg. Let's take a look doing it in this leg and all we're going to do is pick up the heel of the other foot. Now to start off with that's all I want you to do. That's like if you've never done this exercise before use this as your first challenge day one. Pick up the heel, sink into that back leg, keep your back straight, make sure the knees are both bent and imagine that you're holding on to a hard surface like a tabletop with both hands. This is quite important. Your imagination actually does help so the more you can focus on holding on to something, the better your balance will be. So that's what we're using. If you see my hands hovering about the side like this, it's not a tightrope walk thing. It's about imagining I'm actually holding on to something. So there you go. You've lifted that heel off the ground, place it back and move over to the other side. Take the heel off that one and hold it. Try and hold it for 15, 30 seconds or a minute, whatever you want. That's your first step. Step two. Back to the starting position, instead of just taking the heel off the ground, you pick up the foot. You're not going to do any more, you're not going to do any ankle rotations, knee flexes, opening out the waist, none of this, you're just going to hold it. Now again, it's better if you do actually physically hold on to something rather than do this. As though you're about to fall over, because if you do this in order to ensure that you stay up, What's going to happen is you're probably going to damage your lower back or you're going to hurt your hips or you're actually going to fall over. None of those things are worthwhile pursuits in themselves. So what I'd like you to do is hold on to something if you feel your balance going or just place your foot back on the ground gently and pick it up again when you feel more confident. Okay, so you've got into this stage two movement in which you're able to sit on one leg, foot off the ground, and you hold it for 30 seconds or a minute. Do the same on the other side. If you're a bit bored doing this exercise and you find it very easy and unchallenging, then you can try brushing your teeth at the same time, waiting for the kettle to boil, talking to the dog, whatever you want, try and multitask. When you're com happy with your progress at stage two, we go on to stage three. Stage three is slightly more challenging and it takes us in the direction we want to go to, which is working those ligaments and tendons and forming new synaptic connections in the brain and stimulating our bodies to improve irrespective of the age you have. So what we're going to do is sit down into one leg, pick up the other foot and we're going to just flex it forward, swing it forward. That's all. Shin height, knee height. Do that four times then take it out to the side for four times. 
are you here? Once that's complete, relax. Swap over to the other side. Let me move over so you can see what I'm doing. Take it out to the front for four times and out to the side, trying to avoid the microphone cable here. One, two, three, four, and back. So challenge yourself for that. This is your third week, by the way. The first week was, was heel off the ground, possibly foot. Second was the whole leg off the ground. Third is the swing out forward and to the side. And the way that you go through each of these weeks is you increase the numbers. You start off with four, a couple of days later, you try and go up to eight, take it up to 12 or 20, however many you can, without damn, over overworking yourself. So that was week three, where we just had the small shin kick to the side or knee kick in front of you. Week four, we're going to up the pace a little bit. Let me show you once more. We sit and instead of doing just a knee kick, we raise the foot a little bit. One, two, three, four. Come back to the side. One, two, three, four. And try to do your balance, don't fall over. You come back to the center. Move over to the other side. Make sure your microphone cable is out of the way. One, two, three, four. And out to the side, one, two, three, four. Now, as you can see, I'm sometimes lifting my leg up and extending, and sometimes bringing it down and coming up with a flick kick and back again, depending on how much you want to challenge yourself in that process. Obviously, the whole leg movement is more challenging. It's the body begins to sway and shift about, and you're challenging your sense of balance. But that's also the way it improves. So don't be afraid of giving it a go. So that's it really. All I'm suggesting is in the course of one month, one month you go from this to this and eventually when you feel confident enough up to the side and out the front, side, front, side, side, front, right, front. Basically, just keep working, keep working, keep pushing yourself. The more you do that, the more your body will respond by stretching itself, working on those ligaments and tendons, making them stronger and stronger, and then your balance will be much more fluid. It won't be about just maintaining a position, but staying in balance whilst in motion. That's what it's about. Give it a go. Give yourself a month's challenge. Those four stages. Let me know how you get on.